Hello and welcome back to my channel. This message is a message for Leo and if you're a cross watcher there could be a message here for you. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing and let's see what we have here for Leo. I'm going to start out with the Daily um, Angels Guidebook by Doreen Virtue and let's see what message I have here for my Leos. Leo, what do the angels and guides and ancestors have for you? Leo, 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 Leo. What message is here for my Leos? My son is a Leo. So I'm saying hello to my son. Trustworthy guidance. Now this came out, oh, uh, what sign did this come out for? It came out, I think it was for Pisces. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that here. And at the bottom, and this just came out for Aries, so <laughs> life purpose. Um, I'm going to use the Muse Tarot, and then I'm going to clarify with um, the um, After Tarot. So I'm just going to take a shuffle and lay these flat. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to take these because I'm not. I'm just going to pull these out. Let's leave this here. Let's see what messages want to come for my Leo. I'm going to take this one. This one, this one wants to come out, and one more, this one, okay. All right, at the bottom I have an Ace of Inspiration, so that would be the Ace of Wands. This is taking something to its next level, so it's fire energy, could be your own energy here. I have the Ace of Emotion, so that would be the Ace of Cups. Then I do have the Nine of Material, that would be the Nine of Pentacles. And Five of Voices, so that is very mental energy, so it's the Five of Swords. And the Ten of Emotions, that's beautiful! Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, that it would be the Ten of Cups. So let's go ahead, let me take a moment here. So this really, this is how you're feeling about yourself. You know what, that was in a, um, I would say, I don't know if, I'm not reading really these in the reversal unless they just pop out that way. But um, the Ace of Emotions is the Ace of Cups. So this is really self-care, loving yourself, a brand new beginning with the direction that you want to go towards Leo with what feels right for you. I know my Leos are all about strength in the heart. So this is really coming from your heart. And the nine of material is your own independence, is my singles card, being single and um, and having your own independence in regards to how you feel about yourself at this time. So how is it that you're seeing yourself right now, my, my Leos? How do you feel about yourself at this time? And then when I'm looking at the five of voices, now this card is, it's like, uh, there's, what is going on with you? Because this is learning from, lesson so this is being in duality i always say this is like in duality this is feeling lost this is feeling defeated for me this is like feeling like you failed at something about being hurt and but there's also like you feel like you need to win because with the five of swords in the other deck one is standing up with a sword and everybody else is uh walking away so this is how do you want to feel at the top how do you want to feel, right? This is about how do you want to feel? Where's your head at right now? What is it that you feel like you need to fight for? What do you feel like you have lost? And this is also a loss, loss of independence within a family as well. So it could be feeling loss within a family. So maybe there has been a loss within a family with the Ten of Emotions, which is the Ten of Cups. It's the ultimate happiness card, right? So this is really having all your desires met um, coming in alignment. So let's see what the eights of emotions, what is really coming up here for, yeah. So I don't know. I, I feel like if that, if I was to read that in the reversal, is this, are you kind of bored with your job or with where you are within um, your community, within your family? Is there just this feeling of uneasiness that is going on around you at this time? And there could be an offering here, like the universe or somebody's bringing you some kind of offering. And this person is taking a drink of that cup, but there's three more that are following it. Um, let's see what the other cards are telling me here. 
And yeah, you're not allowing something here to end. It's like you're still carrying, you're carrying a lot of things of the past. There's some burdens. So the Ten of Wands would be carrying burdens of the past. So this is both with the mind and physically what you're taking on. Um, so drop, drop, allow some things to end. And here, the Five of Wands. So again, I feel like there's a lot of... Um, battle you feel like you're constantly needing to stand up for yourself in a family situation or in your life and you feel like you're always carrying burdens and you're not the four is like you know here i have the ten of cups and here's the four you're taking a drink um like it's almost like telling yourself it's okay to be single um or maybe there's somebody wants to come in but you're not allowing that to happen or you're taking a cup and you feel like you have to be there for so many other people at this time is kind of what I'm getting. Let's see. I'm going to go to the Muse deck. Yeah, this is not, this is Leo. This is your own card and this is not taking action, having the courage and the strength to really listen to your heart and um, to align yourself with what is it that you want to experience with the five of voices and the ten of wands i have the queen of inspiration so i have the king and the queen but you're not in alignment here this is wanting to take action okay um leo don't allow your head and anything that others are carrying to become yours i feel like energetically Maybe you're taking on other people's um, load and it's time for you to actually drop it and to not allow. And then at, the, at that, I have Ace of Inspiration too. So there's a lot here about you choosing you, Leo. And um, this being in a reversal, it's like you're not, you're giving up hope and courage and the strength to really follow your own heart. And, um, but this is, there's a lesson in it for you. There's a fear of maybe your own independence of you taking inspired action to do something new. So you keep drinking from the same old cup, but in your mind, it doesn't sit right for you. It's like you're in duality. You feel like you're constantly fighting, but what is it that you're fighting is yourself and other people? Um, yeah, it's like not being able to move towards this, this happy place. It's almost like you're in your own way or family or you feel like there's this constant um, bickering. I feel like that's 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 around you. Um, like, what is it that you are fighting right now, Leo? Where where do you need to lay down your weapon, and um, and really change? Well, I feel like there's yeah, there's a lot that is falling out here for you, Leo. So let's see, let's turn this puppy around. Let's see what is going on for my Leos here. Um, yeah, coming out of feeling this way, out of feeling any loss. So I feel like there's been a loss and you're coming out of that. This is really aligning yourself to go through a gateway with truth and honesty. In regards to family, there could have been also a loss within a family and there's a lot of conflict with yourself. Now, maybe you feel like you have to carry the family or carry the load, but it's not up for you to do that, Leo. This is all about aligning with your own passions and your own desires and really feeling at peace. So it's like you're, you're, this is the past and this is looking within the future, um, but the future is always now. So this is what inspired you in the past that you can bring in and really go within so you can align yourself by taking inspired action with what feels right for you. So these are all cards of action, but what you're here to be is um, the devil. <laughs> And this is Capricorn energy, so you could also be dealing with a Capricorn. But this is also um, really, is there any kind of behavior or thought patterns or addictions that could be holding you back by taking inspired actions to move forward with clarity um, and not feeling like um, you, you don't have enough or will have enough in order to move forward to your own independence, Leo. Um, the card here is trustworthy guidance. 
You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it. Knowing that we are with you every step of the way, ask for and be open to receiving any support for anything that you need related to this idea. So again, with all these here, I feel you're the one in your own way, like feeling stuck in a community. But if it doesn't feel right, Leo, it's time for you to do to go towards what feels right for you and to beat the devil. It's like, this isn't about what another wants for you or your addictions or your behaviors or your patterns to hold you back. This is dropping the burden. So I don't know what happened, Leo. I'm sorry, I was shuffling and I had a phone call. I had it on Do Not Disturb and, and it, it just messed up your whole. So anyways, I was taking uh, from the Alana Fairchild to close out your reading here and uh, the card that I had pulled was number 25, which is release the dark wound to let love in. So just to bring this in closing for you, Leo, this is talking about detaching. So it says, if we detach something from its source too soon, trying to force it to become what it is not yet ready or willing to become, we can unintentionally sap it from its strength and kill it. There's a dark wound in the conscious of humanity, which demands perfection and denies process. If you're thinking of publishing before you have written the book, if you're comparing your unfinished song idea to the latest best-selling pop release, if you have decided you're not good enough or worthy enough to succeed before you've given it everything you've got and asked for divine help, then this dark wound has you in its grasp. And that would be the devil card here, Leo. Um, so you have to let go, Leo, of the death grip of perfectionism and let yourself and your ideas live. Love is abundant, creative, and inspiring. It moves us so much more joyously and creatively than fear. You're being asked to honor the path of your own love here, Leo, with the ace of emotions, the ace of uh, inspiration, and the queen. Here, Leo, you are being asked to let it live and to release the dark wound, Leo, of false belief. There are countless stories of vastly successful artists who have very nearly been the project that was the making of their career, become of despair fostered by their own dark nature. They doubted. They were uncertain. Was their work any good? Was it useless? They struggled to believe in the right of a work to overcome Leo to life, whether it was accepted or rejected by others or not. They nearly lost their work to fear. Leo, this card is telling you to not do that. This card is telling you to really go beyond the mind and really align yourself with what is in your heart and break through this fear, this gripping fear that's holding you back. And you could be turning to other things because you're not taking fulfilling action, inspired action to yourself. So what happens is that one turns towards um, relationships, food, TV, other things, really old way of thinking, not being good enough. And what happens is that you rob yourself, Leo, um, by feeling lack and feeling like others are out to get you when when it's you uh, facing you you are to face yourself and your own demons so you can take action and release the darkness and you know really realizing that we're all imperfect we are perfect being imperfect and once you really realize that Leo then what happens is that your world shifts and changes and it becomes one inspired creative action i'm sending you so much love so much light thank you for subscribing liking and sharing until next time namaste